The following is based on a true story. In 1971, Ed and Lorraine Warren were America's top paranormal investigators. Where do I start? From the first occurrence. Famous for their work on the Amityville and Connecticut hauntings. But what they witnessed at the Perrin House in Harrisville, Rhode Island, was so disturbing, they'd kept it locked away. Until now. The Perrin House was a very, very sad case. There's something horrible happening in my house. Please, can you come and take a look? It's usually always some kind of rational explanation. Those doors bang at night. It's gotten worse the past few nights. All night long, just like that. They were the very original ones that pioneered the modern day style of ghost hunting. It's November 1st, 1971. We're headed down into the cellar. You give us a sign that you want to communicate with us. I think it's important to remember that you're talking about a time where nobody knew anything about this stuff. No internet. It wasn't Hollywood tricks. We may be drawn to a very real supernatural world because we're meant to be a part of it. You're picking up anything in here, hon? Something awful happened here, Ed. What is it? I think Ed was fearful in the beginning. Whatever Lorraine sees, feels, touches, it takes a toll on her. A little piece each time. You would attract energy to you that really could be harmful. Mom and Dad tell me that you have a friend. His name's Rory. But I think something bad happened to him. That house had extremely heavy feeling and was the personification of evil. director of Saw and Insidious. Certain families can move in where phenomena has taken place, but it doesn't affect them. Other families can move in and hell breaks loose. The Conjuring, rated R, July 19th.